Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more points of the RH criteria. So first, what is RH criteria? Ruth Horwich criteria. It is useful for analyze the any system. And it is much important during the stability of the system. So in that first point, if in RH table, ROZ occurs one time, all coefficients of the first column are positive, then the system is marginally stable. So for example, so we have a ROZ, so we are doing, we are dealing with the RH criteria in that we are getting some row sir, and uh, zero, one time, it is only one time is possible and then the system is called as marginally stable, system will be named as the marginally stable, this is the statement and the second point is if any sign changes occur below ROZ so we have a ROZ then must be symmetrical poles in the left poles to right hand side poles for example we have ROZ in that case any sign changes occurs of ROZ so below this we have the sign change some negative change negative sign is is came from the first column then this then must be symmetrical poles in the left to the poles in the RHS so we have poles like this if for example we have two poles symmetric poles is there four poles symmetric poles is there then automatically poles arrangement is two poles on the this side two poles on the this side in this manner we have to arrange the poles arrangement if below row of 0, next sign changes occurs. Third, if any sign changes occur below the ROZ, then no symmetrical poles to the, if a, no sign changes occur, then, okay, if there is no sign changes occurs, not this. So that's why we don't have any poles. If you have a ROZ, but there is no sign poles, the poles arrangement is like this. What is this meaning? Sign change means, sign change means poles must be in the RHS. That means poles in right hand side. If there is no sign change means the poles not in right hand side. Just keep it in mind. Next, fourth, one time ROZ indicates not repeated poles not symmetric poles about the origin. So one time ROZ means simply there is no repetition of poles. Poles doesn't repeat not symmetric about the origin. It doesn't symmetric about the origin. Right. Fifth, number of ROZ equal number of repeated poles symmetric about the origin. If the ROZ increases, for example, we have we have two poles like this. If second time ROZ repeats, that means the poles again, another two poles will be added here. Then there are symmetric about the origin like this. If you are reporting, if, if you are repeating, the poles must be symmetric about the origin. Next one. Repeated poles and imaginary axis means system is unstable. The most important means if the imaginary axis poles will be repeated, then the system is unstable system directly. If imaginary axis, we have two poles like this, no problem at all. But in the imaginary axis, poles will be another two poles will be added like this and like this. Then the system is the unstable system. Right. Next, if ROZs are more than one, system is unstable. So we have the two ROZs, two number of zeros in the in the RH table, then automatically system directly it is a unstable system. Next, if ROZ is only one, if no sign changes, system is marginally stable. There is no sign changes, automatically system is marginally stable. Whenever poles are available in the imaginary axis but not repeated, the system is marginally stable. Second, if any sign changes, system is unstable. Simply, system is unstable means 
sign changes means automatically one pole in the right hand side this side we have the poles if there is no sign change means there is no poles this side there is no poles this side All right next if characteristic equation contains negative terms or missing terms the system is unstable for example we have for example look at here two examples first if system is consisting of negative terms not system this characteristic equation having the negative terms look at here s power 4 s cube s square and it has the negative term whenever the characteristic equation is like this the system is directly unstable system so if next if the term is missing look at here s power is available s cube is there but s square is missing here s power 1 is there and s power 0 is there then this is also the unstable system okay so must be in proper order that means 4 3 2 1 0 like that otherwise system is become unstable so these are the very very important terms very very important points when we are dealing with the rh criteria otherwise otherwise we are not following we are not following with the previous conditions okay so let's discuss one problem regarding this given given points the problem is a given characteristic equation that is s power 6 plus 3s5 plus 4s4 6s cube 5s square 3s plus 2 equal 0 is asking to find first test the stability and number of poles and the imaginary axis this is the question first the any question first check we have the proper s power is there this is s power 6 5 4 3 2 1 so there is no problem and they, it doesn't have any negative terms so directly i will go for the rh table so what is rh table first write down all things that is s power 6 and s power 5 s power 4 s power 3 s power 2 s power 1 and the s power 0 s power 0 so write down all the points here s power 6 has the coefficient of 1 and s power 5 has the 3 s power has the 4 and this has the 6 and next is the 5 next is the 3 next is the 2 and next is the 0 right what about this What about this? Three, four, zero, twelve, six, one, zero, six by three. This is here three into four minus one into six by three. This is twelve minus six by three. Six by three. Now this, this is the two. And what about this? Three into five minus one into three by Three. What about this? Fifteen minus three by three, and that twelve by three. This is the four. What about this? Three into six. This is the three into six by three. How? Three into six minus and three into two is six. Sorry, three into two is six, and one into zero by. Three. This is six by three. What is this value? This value is the two. Next is the zero directly. Okay. Yeah. Next we will discuss this. Next go for the s cube coefficient. That is two six times. It is twelve three four times twelve. That's why it become zero. Two three times six three two times six six minus six it become zero directly. so what is the procedure wherever we are getting the zero wherever we are getting zero what what we need to proceed so when we are got the roz is zero roz is zero then what we have to do just take in the auxiliary equation how we can write the auxiliary equation above this row we we should take the auxiliary equation that is this is 2 into s power 4 Plus 
4 into s square s square plus 2 and differentiate with this auxiliary equation with respect to s and then what we will get we will get 2 4 j i t s cube and 4 2 j i t s so we have two things one is i t and another one is the i t now now we will do the next go for the next question what is the next question here here Eight, just replace eight here. Eight four ja. So right here, eight four ja twelve. Sorry, eight four ja thirty two. Sorry, eight four ja thirty two and two eight ja sixteen. Two eight ja sixteen by eight. This is sixteen by eight. We will get the two here. Same here. Here eight two ja sixteen minus zero by eight. we have the 2 okay same thing we got here and go for the next this is the zero we know that what is the next the next is 2 into 8 16 and 2 into 8 16 again we have the zero here again we have the zero same procedure what we need to follow same we have to apply the again you take the this is the auxiliary equation 1 and go for the second auxiliary equation second auxiliary equation is this is the second auxiliary equation this is for zero take the above above coefficients that is auxiliary equation we can write is 2s square plus 2 so differentiate this auxiliary equation with respect to s we have 4s so we can write this is the 4 value okay then what is this value this value is 4 into 8 by 4. That means we have the 2 here. So we have two ROZs. So this is the ROZ one, and we have the another ROZ. This is the ROZ two. So not not this above this. This row is the ROZ two. Right. We have the two ROZs. Whenever R O Zs are two, so so we can write. So whenever R O Zs are two, how many times of number of changes? So in this auxiliary equation order is four here actually. Initially, first auxiliary equation have the order is the four. Order is four generally, and we don't have any sign changes. We don't have any sign changes. Then what we have to do here? We have to do generally. What is the order of this equation? Characteristic equation six is the order of equation. So order of characteristic equation is directly he mentioned that is the six. Auxiliary equation order is. Order is four. Yes. Okay. And next, number of sign changes is zero. Number of sign changes zero. That means no negative, no right hand pole. Just keep in your mind. And but we have the R O Z is two. Whenever like this, we will draw, we will draw like this first. So this is the S plane. For this S plane, so we have auxiliary equation is four. Right hand pole is zero. That's why we can write like this: one, two. There is no poles. So some of the poles will stable. The stable poles are two because here six minus four equal to two. That means two poles in LHS. Left hand side. So, what about the remaining four poles? Whenever R O Z repeats, then the poles will be repeated. Poles will be repeated means the remaining two poles are repeated on the imaginary axis. Remaining poles will be repeated on the imaginary axis. For example, there is no R O Z means we have the poles is another place. We have the poles is another place. So. 
generally sign changes defines right hand poles roz repeated poles on imaginary axis this is the repeated poles on imaginary axis okay imaginary axis okay, i think all of you understand so characteristic equations are six so therefore we have first pole second pole third and four here five and six here so almost four poles six poles are approximately we we draw okay now what is system stability is the system is stable it is unstable system it doesn't have any stability because repeated poles on the rhs if you observe here there is repeated poles repeated poles on imaginary axis so this is the imaginary axis we have repeated pole and we have repeated pole what is system whenever the so it is okay next poles on imaginary axis next question is poles on imaginary axis so if you observe here in the imaginary axis how many poles we have 1 2 3 4 number of poles are 4 okay so this is the procedure to do the these type of problems whenever roz is repeated we have to follow this process okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you